All right, today's project, I'm gonna be installing a LED emergency light with backup battery. The purpose of this type of light is for when the power goes out and it'll sense the power going out because you're gonna run power to it, it'll turn on automatically to help light up the space in the living room or help highlight the exit doors. Uh, mainly it's for a safety feature for uh, if the power goes out, that way you can see your way around. And this is what it looks like. This is the LED lights. Tools and supplies needed. The links will be in the description. Okay, so we're gonna install the emergency light by the front entrance door. So that way it'll highlight the living room and kitchen area and then highlight exactly where the exit door is. And we're gonna tie it off of this outlet here in the wall, run the uh, fish the cable up and then mount the light in this area. All right, you wanted to turn off the power to the outlet at the breaker box and use the electrical tester to ensure that it is off. I'm checking to see if there's room in the box for more wiring to be able to run a fishing line through it. There will be scenarios where you can't uh, run another line into your box. Uh, there are other videos out there on YouTube that shows how to replace uh, the electrical outlet box with a larger one so you would be able to run another line in. Please subscribe and hit that like button. I do appreciate it. This is an old metal uh, box. It had a um, wire clamp inside it. That's what I'm undoing right now. So I'm on securing that existing wire that allowed me to have room to run the new wire in through another hole that I'll show you here shortly. And you'll see here that extra hole there. I'm going to be fishing the line through that hole and then running it down the wall. So now I'm running the fishing line up through the outlet. Okay, so I ran the fish tape up the wall just to confirm that I had enough uh, space to go up all the way up here, uh, that there was no blockages in the, in between. And I went ahead and marked the outline of the box I'm gonna install. Be sure to use a little plumb level to make sure it's plumb and level. So that way when you go to mount the uh, light, then it won't be crooked. You know, so you basically take the box and outline the outside of it, minus these ears, because this is what grips, on, uh, grips onto the wall to hold in place. So you just hold the level up to make sure that it is plumb. Here, check out my new uh, DeWalt 20 volt oscillating tool. It's awesome. And I'll have the link in the description. So it's super simple to change the blades on this. You just press down this lever here. Let's see how it moves that thing up so take it out and it compresses back down with this spring right here and then to reinstall it so that's easy there's no having to deal with wrenches or anything to tighten the blades and you could also put it in different spots So at different angles to make it easier to get to hard to reach places. So this is definitely awesome. It's my new go-to <laughs> oscillating tool, especially being battery operated. It's going to be really convenient to use and not have to hunt for plugs.
right, so I fished the wire through the wall. So there's a fishing line. And now I'm going to attach the wire I'm going to use to wire the light to the fishing line. All right, so I got the line ready to go on the fishing line. And now I'm going to pull it through the wall. So you want to be careful pulling it all the way through the, the box, make sure it doesn't um, split open any of the wires and make sure it, the wires are in good shape after pulling it through. And now I'm using the wire strippers to strip the wires. And this is just going to show you uh, basic uh, steps of wiring the actual, uh, tying the wire to the outlet. Um, the method I use is actually installing the small uh, pigtails and those will be in the sense if you had to have uh, happen to have another outlet that was ran to the same outlet here um, what I did here was basically unnecessary I could have just wired it right to the outlet itself um, but I wanted to do it this way uh, using the push-in uh, connectors which are awesome and being that this is in a metal box I uh, added electrical tape going around the connections on the outlet so that way there won't be any possible contact with the metal box to the outlet. And this is an old work electrical box um, so this is what you'll want for existing walls that way it can clamp to the wall. basically feed the wire through the, that box at one of the slots and then you'll see the little um, ears you want to make sure that goes inside the wall and then there's the two screws I'll be screwing in here and that's basically acts as the clamp to the other side of the wall and it makes it really secure I'm adding holes um, to the mounting plate for the emergency backup light because uh, I wanted it to be uh, centered to this box. Now the other option you could use is one of those round old work boxes. That would be more for like a light fixture which could have been more appropriate use for this type of um, this type of uh, light. But I went ahead and wanted to use the, the square or the rectangle box. I'm just showing it's all fastened in place and wired in. I'm just making the connections to the for the battery, the backup battery, because it'll come disconnected. And obviously follow the instructions for the emergency light that you you choose. Okay, so after you turn the power on, after all the connections are done and everything's done. There's a test button on this model. Just press and hold the test button to make sure that it works. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for other DIY tips and hints and tricks. I appreciate the view. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever installed one of these or if you think this is a good idea to have. Links to the tools and supplies will be in the description, and I appreciate the support. Please subscribe and hit that like button.